everyone welcome to hydropower today we'll talk about the turbine speed in this session we'll talk about the specific speed of turbine synchronous speed runway speed and speed factor so first let's start with the specific speed of turbine the specific speed of turbine is the speed at which the machine produce one horsepower under one meter head. It is an important parameter for the design of the turbine as it includes all the three basic parameters like speed, power and head of the turbine. The overall efficiency of any turbine is given by given by efficiency is equals to power developed is divided by rho g q s is divided by thousand equals power developed is p this thousand goes on the top is whole divided by rho g q where h equals head q equals discharge g equals gravity and p equals power developed this is the equation one now from equation one p can be written as efficiency rho g at q is divided by thousand where p is directly proportional to q and at uh, where efficiency and p are constant Let D equals diameter of turbine, P equals absolute velocity of water, and equals speed of actual turbine. P bar equals specific speed, sorry, P bar equals tangential velocity. And N is equal to specific speed of turbine. If P, P bar, and H are really interrelated, if interrelated, then V bar is directly proportional to V where tangential velocity is directly proportional to absolute velocity here absolute velocity is directly uh, directly proportional to root over H then this equation becomes P bar is directly root over to H it is written as equation 3 Now, the tangential velocity is given by P bar equals pi d n is divided by 60. Here, pi B bar is directly proportional to d n is equation. Four. Now, substituting equation 
4 in equation 3 uh, root over h is directly proportional to dn that is d is directly proportional to h divided by m now the discharge through the turbine is q equals area into velocity This can be written as A equals B into D into velocity. Area is factorized into B into D where A equals B into D. Uh, this B equals, considering B equals D, that is D square into V where B equals D. Now the Q is directly proportional to D square root over h root over b, b equals root over h where b is directly proportional to root h d is directly proportional to uh, root h divided by n whole square times of root h is again is directly proportional to simplifying this equation h is divided by root n times of root sorry root h that is q is directly proportional to q is directly proportional to h power 3 by 2 is divided by n square sorry this one is n square there is the mistake and this correction is wrong now, now, placing the value of, placing the value of Q in equation 2, where the equation 2 was, the equation 2 was P equals, sorry, P is directly proportional to Q into H. On placing this Q, value of Q in this, P is directly proportional to H, 3 by 2 is divided by square into h on simplifying this is directly proportional to h 5 by 2 is divided by n square into h mm, now p equals k h power 5 by 2 is divided by n square where k is proportionality constant p r o p r t i o n a l i anyway, proportionality constant now if P equals 1 comma H equals 1 and N equals NS that is a specific speed then uh, the, this equation becomes 1 equals K times of 1 power 5 by 2 is divided by NS square that is that is NS square equals K NS equals K now substituting this value in this equation p equals n s square dot h power 5 is divided by 2 times of n s square that is that is n s square equals n square dot p is divided by h 5 by 2 or n s equals n root over p is divided by h 5 by 4 where where n s is in rpm p in horsepower and h in meter so this is the final equation of specific speed and n s the specific speed can be as shown below.
let's talk about the synchronous speed synchronous speed is if the turbine is directly connected to the generator the turbine speed n must be synchronous speed for the turbine speed n to be synchronous the following equation must be filled the equation of synchronous is n equals 120 f is divided by n p where n equals rotational speed f equals uh, electrical frequency in hertz and np equals number of generator pole number of let's talk about the runway speed if the external load on the machine suddenly drops to zero and the governing mechanism falls at the same time the turbine will tend to race up to the maximum possible speed it is known as the runway speed the suggested runway speed of the various number for their appropriate design and acceptable load variation for such turbine are given in the following table you can have a look on them the runway speed shall not exceed 1000 rpm after runway speed let's talk about the speed factor the speed factor is denoted by phi is the ratio of the peripheral speed v bar of the buckets or vane at the nominal diameter d to the theoretical velocity of water under the effective head as acting on the turbine this can be given as phi equals v bar is divided by root over 2 g h where v bar equals pi d n is divided by 60 on substituting the value of v bar on phi the value of phi equals d n is divided by 84.6 root over h the appropriate value of phi which give the highest efficiency of any turbine with the head and specific speed range and the efficiency of the three main type of turbine is shown in below table you can have a look on the range of phi value or and specific speed as well as head so after all this we end up the class for this month we will come again with new video till then keep on watching our channels and don't forget to subscribe thank you